What's up YouTube? This is Detroit Borg and in front of you is the Cyber Acoustics Eye Cover for the iPad. Now I've already done a review on this and I can say that it is my favorite iPad cover. It's the one I always recommend when you guys ask what cover I recommend or case I recommend for the iPad. Uh, now Cyber Acoustics recently contacted me to let me know they're designing and selling other uh, covers for other devices and one of them is the Kindle 3 and they also have one for the Galaxy Tab but I don't have a Galaxy Tab. Uh, so they did send this one over for a review and I thought well certainly it's got to be just as good as the iCover because it has many of the same features. Um, now let's just take a quick look at the iPad. You can see that it has a soft cloth interior with this band for holding it. And we also have these straps for holding the cover down. And it's multifunction. I have a full review on this, so I'll link that in the description below. Now let's go over to the uh, Kindle 3 cover and take a look. On the box, you can see this is the KC3000BK. BK stands for black and has many of the features you're familiar with on the eye cover and a few more. On the back, you see a description and some other accessories that uh, Cyber Acoustics sells. So let's go ahead and get the eye cover out of its box and take a look. Now, I just called it the eye cover, but that's not what they call this. They call this a pad folio style case. It opens up and it is very similar in design. So let me go ahead and take the iPad at, iPad out of the eye cover so you can see it. Now you can see they both have this patented SG bumper design. This is what Cyber Acoustic calls it. And I'm a big fan of it. It basically protects the corners of the device uh, while holding it securely. And it's a TPU material so it's very safe for your device. It's a material that's used in a lot of form fitting cases. Uh, again, this is all genuine leather. Uh, the material on inside has evolved a bit. This was a softer felt material. This is a, a, a sort of a tighter, more suede-like material. Now, on the inside of the Kindle 3 cover, you see a card holder, so you can uh, carry some cards or paperwork or other things in here. You see a strap, just like the eye cover, and we have these uh, flap bands for holding the flap uh, in place. Now, let's just drop a Kindle 3 in here. Again, it goes in very easily. Just snap it in just like that. It holds very securely. Again, it protects the corners. You close the flap. Now you also have these bands to keep the flap closed on both sides. So there you go. It keeps the flap securely closed while it keeps the headphone jack and the micro USB connector free. It does obscure some of the buttons. So that's the power button and that's the volume button. So um, if you want to control the volume, you can still get your finger in there and you can still get your finger in there to control the volume button. You just uh, move the elastic aside. On the back you see a little clasp here for the flap, so let's go ahead and show you how that works. Of course this flap, just like on the eye cover, allows you to fold the cover back and there is a hinge here so it allows the cover to fold like this. And you have two viewing angles. You can rest it on a table just like this. So if you're reading on the table or even on your lap, or if you want to prop it up like this, of course you would have to rotate the Kindle around uh, inside the cover, but you can prop it up like this and read it more vertically. Now if you just want the cover to lay flat, you actually have some bands here that allow you to fold it over the Kindle itself. So there you go, now the cover is securely flat and you actually have a hand strap for handling the Kindle, so you can hold it in your left hand like this or in your right hand like that. Uh, so it makes it more comfortable for reading. Of course the straps do uh, come over the front of the Kindle and they do obscure some of the buttons. It doesn't seem to actually trigger them at all. And if you just uh, move them aside you can still use them. And the only other drawback here is when you try to take the straps off it does sort of hang up on these corners here. But this is the same story with the eye cover and it's not a big deal, at least I find it's not a big concern. There you go. Of course this is very easy to take out. All you have to do is pop the corners and slide it out. Very simple. There you go. Now it sits in there very securely. It's very hard to get out. In fact, the more you shake it, the more secure it is because when you pull on it, the, uh, the case itself actually holds on tighter. It's a very clever design. What I particularly like about this design is that it's very impact resistant. Uh, if you're going to drop anything, it always lands on the corner and this is always the dangerous spot for a device. So you want to make sure that this is protected at all times. A lot of the covers, for whatever reason, Perhaps the way, especially leather covers, uh, they leave the corners open because the materials can't wrap around the corners very neatly. So I really like this design. Overall, I do like the material quality. It's just like the eye cover for the iPad. Uh, very nice stitching. You also see the same construction method with this uh, embossed seam. 
so that it uh, opens up very nicely. The cover itself is reinforced, so there's like a plastic board or something in there to keep it rigid. It does flex around a bit. Looking very closely at the cover, you can see that the hinge itself is embossed. So there are two sort of relief points here so that the leather folds neatly, doesn't wrinkle up or anything like that. And the stitching is very nice and tasteful. It's just black uh, thread. It's not white thread or anything like that. Once again, I'm very impressed with the clever design and material quality, especially at this price point. Many similarly priced uh, Kindles are simple, or, uh, Kindle cases are, are simple book style cases. Now this isn't a simple or inexpensive book style case. This is their lighted cover. I have a review on this as well. I really like this case, but it's uh, $60 or $70. I can't remember what I paid for it. Uh, and all this does, besides having a light on it, is it basically opens and closes like a book. Uh, this has much more secure straps. It has this hand strap, which is very nice for holding the... Uh, the Kindle case and it holds more securely. The Amazon Kindle cases use these hinges uh, which make me a little nervous because they're basically holding on to the Kindle um, with these, these small little hinges and all you need to do is accidentally break it off and you've ruined your Kindle. So once again guys this is Detroit Borg with a look at the Cyber Acoustics Patfolio case for the Amazon Kindle 3. Thanks for watching.